Hi, Katie 2 etp here again, um, and uh, I want to do a little uh, mod that I'm going to show you on my Zygu 108G, the outdoor version. I had reports uh, from before that uh, it sounded like RF was getting back into the radio, and uh, so I'll, I tried uh, grounding it to the grounding system here, and that seemed to work. But then there was uh, a report of maybe my audio dropping out or something. So I'm not so sure that uh, that grounding did all that I could do. So um, one thing I'm going to try, and I'll show you here on the radio. So I took the back of the radio off, and I was uh, getting reports of <clears throat> RF getting back into the radio. And at the time, I didn't have anything grounded to the ground screw. So I tried grounding it to the ground screw, and that seemed to clear up my reports of that. Um, however, um, not totally. And I did a video where I was doing a test on the radio, and, I and you may have seen that already or may not have. But anyways, one thing I noticed taking apart this radio is, is that everything's coated. And if you look in the holes here, um, there's no exposed metal, so anything going through here is not um, touching the metal. To make a good connection, you want these surfaces cleaned up so it's bare metal on bare metal. And, and it makes me wonder if this piece itself, um, for instance, is, is connected. I see that you see the two screws, but um, that being said, the screws uh, go through here to the chassis, and if you look inside there, you can see that there is... Um, the paint or uh, material that they use to coat this with covering the insides of the holes and it's the same in these larger holes here so even though you got a ground here and this is good uh, good connection through the um, the radio and on this plate it doesn't necessarily mean that this plate is getting a good connection to here so I'm wondering that if I just take my little Dremel with a little sand uh, sanding wheel on it and just sand these off a little bit around here and around this uh, these holes a little bit because I want to make sure when that's together the connection is 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 good and you got a good metal connection there so I'm gonna try that I'm also gonna take off these screws here too and I'm gonna um, uh, expose a little uh, metal on or uh, sand it down a little bit on the inside here where that nut goes on and I just want to make sure that everything has is touching um, uh, bare metal. So I will get on with that. And I'll get it uh, dremeled out and then I'll show you what I've done. As you can see I ground down some of the spots where this would be um, connected to the radio here. This back and then I did a little bit around um, the screw in here. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can get out of the light. But just to give a clean surface for the 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 um, screw that's make actually making the connection to make a connection on, and the same here, so that this piece and this piece um, makes a good connection, and I think that's important uh, to keep everything um, grounded appropriately. I find it odd that they would paint through the holes where things would be um, connected to make um, a good electrical contact. So, problem was when I uh, took it off, the flimsy little piece of wire that they had going from the shield on this, the shield on this little coax here, down to this screw broke off. So, I, as you can see, I soldered a new piece on, and uh, I'll reattach that, cut it to length, reattach it, and uh, get it all back together. Okay, so as I was trying to get this back together, this flimsy little piece of coax here, I mean, you can see how small that is, broke right off of the connector um, here. Uh, when I tried to push back in, I pushed it back in, everything fit right, and then I pulled it back out and it popped right off. So uh, I'm not really impressed with that. Um, it seems to me that uh, being hams as we are, we like to take things apart and take a look at them and stuff. And it's a shame that you you can't just you shouldn't 
you know, you should be able to take something apart like this and, and look at it without uh, breaking it, let's say, with doing uh, very minimal um, amounts of movement or anything. So um, I'll be working on that, getting it back together. I'm going to have to take off this stuff they got here and try and figure out what they got going on under here and then figure out a better, uh, see if I can do something to maybe make it better. A uh, little disappointing, I must say, with the quality and the way things were done. Like I said, this here where I had to shave, you know, where that should have been cleaned off at the factory. And you know, if you look at like um, the Elecraft KX3, for instance, um, spots where they have screws that go through, well, I'm not going to use that one, but maybe this one. Um, Oop, where is it? It's on the other side, sorry. But you can see where spots where you have mounts on here, um, they actually uh, clean off some of the material. And you can kind of see it right there on that one. And that's what uh, electrically connects your outside um, you know your equipment ground let's say for lack of a better term for radio but that's what it is and that's what gives you a good connection throughout it all so I'll be working on this I'll get it back together I'll show you what I did when I get done KD2 ETP so I soldered this red wire on here and this black wire on there it's a little heavier gauge wire probably a little better um, than what was there um, I sanded down some of the areas here where, let me see if I can get that in there, where they're going to make connection. Not a great job sanding, but what, just something quick. So that when I put this back together now, everything will be electrical connected, and I got a better ground than they had, obviously, with the little flimsy wire they had in there. And hopefully it works out. <laughs> I'm on 20 meters now, as you can see. There was somebody talking here, running about 12 watts. Maybe I'll kick that up a little bit. Okay, uh, it may be similar. Um, let's see, I'm, uh, I'm using a uh, Delta. With my MFJ 9201. After I did the mod, uh, I want to see what uh, kind of reports I get, so hopefully I can make a contact here. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Tango Papa. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Tango Papa running QRP from New York, QSL. Uh, QSL on the Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I, yeah, I was just did a little work on this radio. It's a uh, one of those Chinese um, QRP rigs. It's called a Zygu 108G. I'm running about 16 watts. Uh, just wanted to make sure everything was working right. I appreciate the comeback. Um, the call sign though was Kilo Delta 2 Echo Tango Papa. Echo Tango Papa. QSL. I appreciate it and thanks for the comeback and um, you guys have a good day. I could hear Phil there. Um, he's low on mine. You're giving me about a 5.8, five, 5.9, five, but man, your audio is loud. <laughs> Okay, well, it seems like my modification worked. Um, we'll have to play around with it some more. Make one quick contact. That's good enough for uh, this video. 
Um, no complaints on their end about the audio. I didn't even bother asking um, just because they didn't complain. And one thing I am going to mention is that I do not have any other grounds hooked up to this radio now. And that's one thing I was uh, trying to avoid. All I'm hooked up through is the antenna uh, outside uh, to the radio. And, and this battery right here is what I'm running off of. I still haven't put my power poles on and changed my leads yet. But um, I haven't done any, any other mods to this radio other than that mod. And, and the one I had to do when I ripped it apart, obviously. But um, so I think that is um, probably a good mod that could be done. Uh, it seems to be helping. I, have, I didn't get any complaints on that uh, um, call. So... This is again another um, test with the uh, Zygu 108G, uh, trying to cure uh, one of the problems that I had with mine. Supposedly this new version didn't have that problem, but uh, they fixed it. But uh, I'm going to say that I fixed it, <laughs> and not the factory. So uh, other than that, it's a great radio. I've had good success with it, and I uh, can't wait to play more with it out in the field. If you look at some of my other videos, um, my Floda and Moda uh, on my page, um, you'll see some of the other things I like to do. Well, this is KD2ETP, and I'll be signing off.